Yo, what's going on YouTube? I know this is my second week of posting consistently. I haven't done this in a while and I've been really inconsistent in posting on my YouTube and I want my channel to grow without me posting. So from now on, I'm trying to post consistently every week on Saturday at noon. If you're interested in music videos, in behind the scenes stuff, in tips and tricks, gear talk, anything that's to do with photography and filmmaking, this is a channel for you and I would like you to be a part of the journey. So today, um, let's talk about gear. Let's talk about gear in filmmaking. Um, before I really got into this and before I really invested my time and energy into creating content, I didn't know how expensive all these things were. Cameras, lenses, tripods, lights, microphones, uh, gimbals. I just didn't know any of it. I just had a simple point and shoot camera and I was just having fun shooting uh, videos. Uh, just cause, you know, I didn't know anything. But filmmaking is a really, really expensive hobby slash profession. You want to take it professionally so today i want to talk to you guys about one piece of gear that i really do not regret buying because in the past i've bought gear that was similar or close to the gear that i wanted wanted but i didn't want to spend the extra money because i didn't have it and i was really impatient and i just wanted to get gear 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 that i bought a lot of cheap stuff that i really regret buying um it was useless it's just now sitting on the side of my room catching dust uh i used it very little or couldn't use it at all because it was so cheap that it was just trash it was just bad so today i'm talking to you guys about one piece of gear that i do not regret buying and if you want to see more videos uh if you want to see the top 10 like the best gear i spent please leave a comment i'll create a video on my top 10 um gear or accessories that i've bought that i do not regret buying or i could do a top 10 do not buy um if you're interested in that in that as well please leave a comment down below so you can save yourself uh, some time and money and some headache so now let's talk about the one piece of gear that i do not regret buying um and that is this variable nd filter and essentially this is sunglasses for your camera right so let me focus this so essentially you control the amount of light that comes into your it's really hard to turn into your sensor and the reason why that is really important if you're trying to follow the 180 degree rule because uh if you haven't seen my last video about the 180 degree rule please go watch that and then come watch this one so you can understand what i'm talking about but essentially the 180 degree rule is basically uh, how you can achieve the, your most the most cinematic looking image and when you're shooting outside it's really hard to dial in the right settings um because it's really bright outside so let's say if you're trying to you know film a commercial right and your subject is wearing you know a hoodie and you want to you want to have him uh be in focus right you want to, and you want the, the background to be uh blurry so the viewer's uh eyes really just goes to the subject and the hoodie right because you want to promote the hoodie if you shoot in, in uh in a wide open aperture like 1.8 or 2.8 then there's gonna be a lot of light coming into your into your camera um which is gonna be a very blown out image you can crank your shutter but then you're gonna lose the motion blur and the the cinematic looking uh image right because you're gonna crank up your shutter and like i said on my last video your motion blur is gonna be all messed up and it's, it's not gonna look professional right so you put you, you basically put this filter you screw this on onto your uh lens um and you control how much light goes in there so your so your setting stays the way you want them to stay and you don't have to sacrifice motion blur or the blurry background and that really has increased the production level of my films and has really separated me from other uh, filmmakers who just literally just turn the camera on and shoot. And I mainly use this outside, like how it is right now. If I was to shoot outside right now, 
around noon or anytime any whenever there's daylight it's usually really really um bright especially because i like to have my my aperture at like around 1.8 to 2.8 for most of my films i don't know i just like that look so this piece of gear is is really important like i use this every single day on mostly on every shoot um except for real estate that's that's another subject but when it comes to vlogs when it comes to music videos when it comes to anything i i use this for everything like this has saved me so much um and this specific one is made by a company uh named tiffin but i'm not being sponsored i bought this with my own money this costs around 100 bucks I, th I think it's really good quality the i don't see no loss in quality in my image um there's obviously better ones um like like the Pol uh, polar pros uh, peter mckinning edition ones but those are really expensive those are like 300 dollars per one of these so i didn't want to spend that much money on it um and like i said i bought cheap things before but i think this is really good quality it feels good it's built by a uh, i think metal here and i think the glass is really well done um so if you're looking for uh an nd filter nd variable filter i think tiffin is is a good medium it's not too cheap but it's not too expensive and um it can really uh increase the production of your films and it can separate you from the competition you know there's a lot of tips and tricks that uh that you can do to really separate yourself from other filmmakers in your area that can uh, help you get more jobs or you know better clients or whatever but yeah this nd filter has really really saved my butt multiple times has came in clutch so many times yeah man so like i said if you're interested in watching uh more videos on gear and buys and don't buys if you're interested in watching one of those videos please let me know down below and i'll create a video like that i think that'll be interesting to see because i have a lot of gear that uh, i bought before that i really really regret buying and i should have saved that money would have bought better gear with that being said uh Please consider subscribing if you're into filmmaking, uh, photography. I would love for you guys to be part of the journey. And yeah, man, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions about anything that I talked about or my last videos. I would love to answer those. And follow me on my Instagram at CaesarJSid. And yeah, man, on to the next video. Peace. Like too good. Like too good. Yeah. 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 Working on the weekend like usual Way off in my deep end like usual Dog talking crazy, yeah, he doing too much Fuck being sober, dog, I'm too tired